Hello, FLIR community and Songbird community. I wanted to do a quick video because I see a lot of people on X or Twitter asking, how do I delegate? How do I make sure that I am delegating to the best uh, provider on a weekly basis? And I think there's a lot of confusion that's out there. Um, and of course, you know, we've got new people that are always coming in to the community of Flare Networks and Songbird. And so I wanted to take just a few quick minutes to do a video to show you how to optimize, you know, your delegations and make sure that you understand, like, this is important to maximize your rewards that you get every week from Songbird and from Flare. And you need to do it every week. Like, you, it's, it's really not a set it and forget it type of a thing. If you like set it and forget it, then you should be staking. Uh, and I'll do another video on staking, but you should be staking uh, because then you can just set it and forget it and uh, you still get your airdrops. Uh, um, but uh, but delegating, when you delegate your FTSO votes, uh, it really needs to be checked every week. Um, and there's a deadline associated with when you need to check it. So uh, let's just real quickly jump into it. Let me show you uh, one of the tools that I use is um, app.flareoracle.io. And I will also make sure that these are notes are in there. Uh, but one of the best, this is an FTSO tool built by uh, by Flair Oracle. Um, and this is one of the best ones. I, I love it because when I first go in uh, to the tool, this is this is great. Like this tells me right here, this section right here tells me the top FTSOs right now, right? Price Krakens, number one, EDP FTSO, number two. Um, so this is a great tool because it tells you if like if you have selected someone or you're delegating someone that's not in the top five, it'll show you and it'll show you their ranking. But this is the first page when you open up that app.flareoracle.io page. This is the first thing that comes up and it shows you the top five FTSOs. You can also go over to FTSO metrics on the left and it will then give you a suggested versus reward rate ranking. Uh, for the price provider me metrics. It always opens up under suggested. So right now it's suggesting price cracking because the reward rate is the highest. Um, also, you have to pay attention to vote power. Vote power, you cannot, you cannot go over 2.5% on your vote power or it will start diluting the rewards that, that are coming out. So um, a lot of people will set it and forget it. And for those people who have said it and forget it, like in Evolve FTSO, the vote power is now up to 2.9% this week. So the reward rate is lower. The vote power is higher than 2.5%, um, and it's a 20% fee. So their rewards are getting diluted, right? So this is why it's important to check this every week. This is why it's important to be engaged with it every week, because you have to pay attention to the vote power. You have to obviously pay attention to what the fee is that the FDSO is going to take from the rewards and then pay attention to the reward rate. But if you just come to this app, use the FlareOracle.io app, it tells you who they suggest. Pay attention to the vote power. Pay attention to the fee. So in my mind right now, uh, Price Kraken has a 15% fee. Their vote power is under 2.5% and they're the highest reward rate. I'd be clicking delegate all day long. I would change my allocation up to 100% unless you wanted to go with another one, um, and then I hit delegate. And that essentially is all it's gonna take in order for me to delegate uh, my FTSO votes for Flare. This is on the Flare network. Um, it is the same exact process on Songbird, the same exact process on Songbird. Uh, two quick things. First, Flare has two epochs a week that you have to be aware of and pay attention to. So the rewards are distributed twice a week. So you need to be prepared to check this and to change your delegations um, twice a week if you want to max out your delegations. Um, Solidify has a great app that has the rewards. It tells you when the epochs run. It tells you when you need to make sure and change your delegations in order to be able to maximize it. So you should really be engaged paying attention and doing this twice a week for Flare, um, at least once a week for SGB, um, and making sure that you're checking your delegations, making sure that you're getting 
the best delegation opportunities that you can get. Um, Solidify also has a dashboard. Solidify also will show you on their dashboard um, an idea of what the prices are. If you go to delegators uh, and validators, they also have this same data that's over here as well. Um, this area here for validators is dealing with staking. And like I said, I'll talk about staking in a different video. So I wanted to take a quick second and kind of share this with the community. Um, I'm a big time Flair uh, Maxi, have been learning from uh, Dan Rocky, Mickey B. Fresh, Patty XRP, Lars um, for the last number of years. And uh, excited that we finally have the opportunity to have Flair out there and launching and we're getting these rewards. But, uh, but many people are asking the question, how do I delegate? And who should I delegate to? And how do I know how to do it? Well, here's a video to help you. Let me know if you got questions. Feel free to hit me on Twitter at, uh, at for a home loan, at for a home loan. That's the number four, at for a home loan. Thanks, guys.